to be a challenge. Time to use some muscle and make my way inside. pit. I was expecting the saloon to be abandoned, not devastated. find a place to dispose of this right away. There must be a dump around here somewhere. First of April is tomorrow. Might be worth a look. Assuming, of course, that Charlie has left this note this year. This will come in handy. For now, this is as good as it gets. It's time to set up the chairs and tables. job setting up Butterfingers.
must say, the rat droppings on the threshold caught my eye. Did you come up with this decor yourself? It's my business what happens to this place. We both know that ain't true. Have you forgotten the agreement you made with Mr. Locke? Do you know this man? I know he'll be mighty disappointed if we don't handle a sensitive matter right now. Who are you anyway? I'll tell you only what you gotta know, Butterfingers. They call me W, and as long as you run the saloon, we're tied together like tumbleweeds in a dust storm, whether you like it or not. The name's Cheyenne, and I don't think I need to listen to you. I know your name. And Mr. Locke knows what's going on here. Quit wasting our time and follow me. But how to... Got the keys to the whole dang saloon, do ya? Get in. Jesus. That's... That's a fresh corpse? Fresh? They've been lying here for a few hours. Come on, there's nothing to see. Help me clean it up. No fucking way, W. This is murder. If we get rid of the body... It'll be merely a mysterious disappearance. Besides, the town doesn't have a sheriff yet. What is this man even doing here? He is lying dead. Stop asking stupid questions and get to work. I saw a rag here somewhere. You know what to do. What did I get myself into? After you clean up the blood, take the body to Casey. She's the local mortician. Another one of Locke's associates? I wouldn't call her that. At least not to her face. She just does what she can to stay alive. Like we all do. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. What a surprise. You're one of them after all. One of whom? What are you talking about? I'm just here to run the saloon. And you ended up carting around dead bodies. Do you know who he was? No idea. He poured drinks before you. Wait, you're kidding me, right? I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Welcome to Blueberry, I'm Casey O'Hara. How shall I inscribe your grave? They call me Cheyenne. Can you tell me how not to end up like this? Do what W tells you. Don't ask questions, and don't look for answers. Can I buy a pre-need plan, or...? Just stick a $5 bill in your boot and don't worry about it. I'll make sure you get a proper send-off. Thanks. That's surprisingly comforting. At your service. done. Let's wait for the final act with applause. I'll fill you in on your second job when the time comes. Second job? Relax, Cheyenne. You'll hear a whistle and see me at the window on the balcony. That's the signal for you to head to the barn. Understood? 
and you will scratch me behind my ear after a good done job? I'm not a dog, but I guess I don't have much of a choice, do I? You don't. Huh, you're a smart ass, you know. There's a chance you'll live a little longer. Longer than the previous owner? Huh? Hmm. So Casey spilled the beans, huh? He made some bad choices, but I thought, no, enough of that. Get to work. Show me what you can do. Give me a good old stone fence, now. Are you talking about a drink, or do you need a stable? Drink. So, how'll it be, partner? That's what I fucking needed. If I'm going to make more of these, I'm going to need supplies. Don't worry about that. I know a supplier goes by the name of Jack. I've already let him know that he should start coming to Blueberry again. He will be here soon. Appreciated. No problem, partner. I sure hope no one else has to make stone fences for me. Yeah. Pleasure to meet the new owner of the once famous Blueberry Saloon. Welcome to the Blueberry Saloon. Good day. This drink is so damn good, it could bring a smile to a grizzly bear. Damn, the liquor is running out. Where's this traitor? Downright legendary. Sounds like a traveling cart. It's better be the traitor. Electrifying. Scusi, you must be Cheyenne. In the flesh. And you must be Jack, the supplier. Supplier? Mio amici. 
I'm your compagno on this nasty sea of sand. Giacomo Allegretti. But the locals call me Jack. All right, Giacomo Jack. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm going to need your help. I can smell a good deal from a mile away. And I smell it here. We'll make a deal, Cheyenne. Just tell me what you need. Can you get me some alcohol and supplies? I need to get this business rolling. Stay calmo, amico. Just show me the dollars and I'll deliver what's needed. Ecco. Thanks. Will you come in for a drink? I'd love to, but not now. I have to take care of the cart. Then see you around. See you. is open again. Damn, I might just cry. Hello, barkeep. Come closer, young lad. What can I treat you to? Howdy. Name Samuel. Welcome to the land where dreams ain't just dreams. Is that what you say? They call me Cheyenne, and for me the town looks deserted. Just looks, my friend, just looks. Blueberry's got its secrets, I can tell. You're sharp. You must sense it, too. Can't say I do. What's your trade, Sam? The only real job there is, with all due respect. I'm a gold prospector, and I own the local open pit mine. Gold? In Blueberry? Come by my house and give me a hand with the mining. Got a special contraption, just needs a little bit of fixing. We split what we find equally and fairly. You'll get a solid 20%. What do you think? Doesn't sound entirely fair. We can work out the details later. Don't let it bother you. Now, listen. Could you make me something to eat? I'm starving. I think so. One thing, though. Yes? Till my contraptions churn in can't pay in cash. What can you offer, then? If you make a meal just the way I like it, I'll have a special gift for you in the future. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Okay. Worth a shot. This room sure needs a renovation. Thanks, you won't regret this.
This drink is finer than a cool breeze. This drink is finer than a cool breeze. What the? Hey, stop it. Take it outside. Oh yeah, watch hey, me enough. run up and End kick this your now. ass. Thanks, but no punches for me. Good luck. Unconscious. Can't leave him here like this. Hope someone in town can help. Good day. The fuck is that? Hey, you. Do you know a doctor? Well, of course I know him. He's me. Oh, great. Will he survive? What happened to him? Got hit in the head. He looks fine to me, but the fact he is unconscious can be worrying. Damn. So what do we do now? Is he... Your friend? Will you take care of him? Nah, just served him a drink. Hmm. All right. Then pick him up and follow me. Lay him here. If you find someone injured, bring them to me. I'll patch them up and get them back on their feet. I can't pay you, but the town will be grateful. And so will the people we save. I'll do my best, Doc. See you around, Cheyenne. Let's hope it's peaceful for the rest of today. Cheers to the bartender. What has this madman come up with this time? This drink is finer than a cool breeze. Oh yeah, food.
How's business going, Cheyenne? I heard from Jack that supplies are flowing. Can't complain. But what's on your mind this time? Same as always. I want to help you with your business. See that wagon over there? And the dead body. Do I even want to know? Trust me, you do. Here's a crowbar. Time to get to work. I use this barn to dismantle stolen carts. You can make a good profit from it. Just be careful and clean up any traces thoroughly. That's where you come in. How exactly? It's simple. I'll keep watch while you dismantle the wagon and hide the parts in the hay. If you happen to come across a chest, try to open it. If there's a body on, we've got that covered too. Ah, uh, Casey and her irreplaceable services. Exactly. Must hide it as soon as possible. Fine, now the rest. letter the sheriff is on his way to town it seems that this guy here was sent to assess the situation well he won't be assessing anything now we need to act fast and take care of the body time is not on our side this will make our job much harder Cheyenne easier when you're not dodging the sheriff's gaze. Just gotta hope he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Another one? I haven't finished with the previous one yet. Barkeep, are you the reason I ended up in this here hole? I don't think so. I'm just trying to run my business. I don't get in anyone's way. Well, what's your name anyway? Cheyenne. Listen, Cheyenne, my name is Hank Custer and I am the new sheriff in town. They sent me here because rumors reached the authorities that the town is starting to thrive. And whose fault is that? 
You mean to say it's credit, right, Hank? For you, it's Sheriff Custer. Let me tell you this, this damn place needs a firm hand, and mine is as firm as they come. The sooner the town is seen as peaceful, the quicker I can get a promotion. I won't interfere with the Sheriff's work. You have my word. And damn fucking well, Cheyenne. Think of me as the leader of the Wolf Pack. As long as you obey, you can feel safe. Now show me what kind of drinks one can pull off here. Surprise me. Bitters? Fresh peach? In this one-horse town? How am I supposed to find those around here? Did you know I could throw you in jail for what you served me? Disgusting. I'm just starting out, Sheriff Custer. Next time, the drink will be perfect. Let's hope so. If I see you causing any problems, we'll quickly fall out of favor. And do you know what wolves do to those who get in their way? I assure you, Sheriff, you won't have any issues with me. Very fucking well. Now it's time for me to leave. Don't stir up trouble, Cheyenne. Oh, and one more thing. Could you check on that poor fellow who came with me? He might need some help, and I'm beat from the journey. Good day. Cheyenne, the new bartender. Nice to meet you. I'm Earl. I can help you with those crates. No. I can handle it. It's no trouble. Let me... I can't pay you. Go away. I... I don't want money. It's just a friendly gesture. Hmm. That's new. Listen, these crates are really heavy. That's not a problem. All right, just don't drop them and don't expect a discount. Told you. Put it here. So, you decided to come back to Blueberry. The big city business didn't work out? The boss values peace and the lack of competition. What's his name? Her, Addie McKay. So, Earl and Addie. For you, it's Miss McKay. Sorry. When is she coming? Soon. Okay.
There's one left. Could you go get it? I'll start unpacking. Sure. I need to pick this up. What's this? That's it. When can I buy furniture from you? We'll start production when the boss arrives, but there are still a few unsold pieces in the basement. I'll get rid of it for the price of firewood. Can I see? Sure. One more thing. Take this. For the help. I told you. Take it. I don't like unpaid debts. If you insist. Thanks. A good work deserves payment.
Let's do a little rearranging here. better. Thanks. You're half. For the first corpse. Half? Yep. Half. Didn't W tell you? About what? Damn. Well, anyway. You will find out sooner than me what this key opens. Judging by where he hid it, it must open something valuable. Wait, hold on. You mean to say you'll pay me for bringing you bodies? If I find something on them. And if the body didn't belong to the sheriff or some other big shot. For such hot merch, I take everything for myself. Sounds fair. I think so too. One more thing. I won't be checking their pulse if you know what I mean. See you. You mean? Oh. Never mind. this.
I'm sorry, Elizabeth. His luck ran out. It's been a long day. Should I go to bed or open the saloon for a bit more? Samuel. I thought I closed for the night. Morning, you did. But for locals, it's more of a suggestion than a rule. What brings you here so early? Good news. Old John Morris up and died. That's good news? For you sure is. Big debts at the bank and this morn, they're auctioning off his belongings. It wouldn't hurt to replace a few things in the saloon. What's available? All sorts. Tables, chairs, beds, paintings, even hunting trophies. Trophies? He was fond of hunting? Fonds putting it mildly. Earl's already gone to check him out. Uh, said he'd swing by hereafter. You know each other? I mean, you and Earl? Sure. Uh, him and Addy, they lived here up until recently. Earl's a bit on the shy side, but... He's got a heart of gold. Give him a chance. Got it. I'll wait for him then. Another thing. About that dinner yesterday... It... Did it sit well with you? Tasty as can be. About time someone used that kitchen right. Then stop by any time. In return brought you these pints. From a trader trying to make beer a thing here. It didn't take. Could use them. Just what I needed. What the heck was I thinking taking? Much obliged. Glad I could return the favor. Um, I'd best be off now. See you around. some supplies from the big city. Come and see.
Cheers to the bartender. Thank <laughs> you. 
This drink is so damn good, it could bring a smile How's it to going, a grizzly bear. That beaten guy from yesterday gave me a load of stress. Everything alright with him? Tried to sober him up with smelling salts, then he coughed and vomited blood. Oh hell. So... Cheers to the bartender. He's a goner. Thought so too. Turned out the blood was from a broken tooth, and the vomit was due to the booze. Well, that's a relief. Maybe... but it doesn't change the fact that I spent half the afternoon wondering what's wrong with him and the other half kicking myself for not figuring it out. Downright legendary. Fancy a drink? Yes, please. Got any gin? Thanks a bunch. By the way, got something for you. What's this? Some shady guy tried to sell me a whole crate. Claimed it was a cure-all. Yeah, right. In my ass. What happened to him? Liver gave out and... 
He died, left this snake oil with me. Sure ain't medicine, but makes a fine drink mixer. I won't poison anyone with this? Trust me. I had a whole crate of it. All right, thanks. No problem. See you around. Hot damn. This drink is liquid gold. liquid gold. You're the best. Downright legendary. Thanks a bunch. Hot damn. This drink is liquid gold.
Everything okay? How was the auction? Fine. Great, actually. So what's with the sour face? Quality stuff. Practically a steal. But... The style's kind of peculiar, hard to resell. I'd like to take a look. Come on, how bad can it be? You do? All right. Drop by later, then. We're here talking furniture, and you're probably thirsty. What'll you have? Just cider. Light start. No whiskey today? Ever heard what a drunk carpenter's short off? Steadiness? Then more. Jesus.